This doll is old. It was the second doll I ever repainted, and I wanted to give her a new face for some time now. As you can see, the seal got sticky and dusty, and the gloss I used was even stickier. And I'm never using that gloss again. I really love her eyebrows though, and I was nervous about repainting them again, since eyebrows are pretty hard to do. And I'm actually quite happy with the rest of the face, but there are just some things that bother me about it, and things that I could've done better. So, I repainted this! I had already given her a reroute, using some metallic stone thread way before I did the face up. And I'm definitely keeping that, but the rest is going. So, using some 100% acetone, it was pretty hard to remove the face. I really had to scrub the face and it took a lot more effort than just removing the factory paint. I had no idea how many layers, layers I used for painting her, but I, I think it was a few. And I ended up doing the rest off camera since it was just so hard to remove. The doll already had some scrapes on her face when I got her and she wasn't a second hand uh, either. But it doesn't bother me. I got a pretty good first layer on her and I started with her eyebrows and the rest of the pastels. And the pencils really stuck to the doll and I'm pretty sure it was because we're finally getting some warm weather here in Norway. I mean even the white pencils stuck really well. And I did build up some nice colors in the iris. And I wanted to keep the colors the same as the first repaint. I always draw on the waterline outside of the sculpted eyes. It makes the eyes look bigger and it's easier for me to keep them even. The white pencil looking thing you see me use, it's actually an eraser. And it's really great for getting into these small places where normal erasers don't reach. And then we finally added a new layer. I normally do a lot less work in each layer, but as I've said, we had some really good and warm weather. So I added some more details, adding hairs to the eyebrows and bottom eyelashes, and I also went straight in with the black. To make the scrapes look more intentional, I added some dark brown to them, and I also drew on some smaller ones next to the existing ones. And I also added some brown to the sculpted seam line.
and after another seal, it was finally time to start painting on the colors. And while painting the iris, I dropped the paintbrush. Luckily, it's just watercolor pencils, so I just added some water to it and wiped it off with a paper tissue. I did have to patch the iris a little, but the yellow is completely gone. Another reason why I don't like using acrylic paints. I can just remove the watercolor paints. Acrylics stick too much. And after adding the red, I realized I didn't like the orange, so I just painted over with another orange. I feel like the painted stage was a mess. I kept shaking and none of the lights ended up being straight. But I did, I did end up giving her a triple wing dye line because of it. And it didn't turn out half bad. But I didn't bother with painting on the bottom lashes. I added some dark red to the iris to clean it up a little, and I also ended up making a minor mess with that as well. I did clean it up in the end, and after sealing it, I added some bronze micro glitter, pretty much all over the face, but I concentrated it on her cheeks and eyes, before adding the pupils and highlight. The lashes were honestly a nightmare to add. I started to film me putting them on, but it just ended up being a huge mess of glue, so I just added them off camera instead, with still a lot of difficulty. <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to add glitter to the eyes or not, but I decided to add it. I started to add them with a nail, but I switched over to a brush, and I added, added it all over the eye instead of just on the bottom. The shoes that she came with looked nice, but the details were hidden by all the purple. So I decided to paint them to match the dress that she will get, be getting.
and he had the gloves off camera and I wait for that to dry while working on the shoes and it was finally time to remove the cloth and pins one of the pins broke so I had to remove it with pliers and here's the dress I made I followed the pattern from Shelly Woods and I can't recommend her patterns enough she has a whole webpage full of easy to follow patterns for all sorts of dolls and she also has uh, sewing tutorials for our beginners. I will leave both her YouTube channel and her webpage in the description, along with the patterns I used here. It was pretty simple to get her dressed, and after that she was finally done. Since she's the second doll I ever repainted, she's definitely the doll that took me the longest to finish. I never made any clothes for her before now, so she's just been naked all this time. So it's really nice to finally see her dressed. And I hope you like her just as much as I do, and I also hope that you like her enough to subscribe so that I can see more of my dolls in the future.